The end of the semester means finals, final tests, final projects, final grades. While many students are buried deep in their textbooks and study guides, some students find that the precious last hours until finals are the prime opportunity to do literally anything else, whether it be Netflix, video games, or even something else productive. I either procrastinate by doing stuff that's productive, but it's not what I'm supposed to be doing. So like I find myself working on, like if I have something to do for school, I'll find myself working on like work projects or vice versa. It's not uncommon. Academic success coach Tyson Putoff says it often boils down to just one thing. In cases we see, we, we generally, uh, it generally comes down to motivation. So it's hard to get started on a project or a, an assignment or a class when you don't enjoy it. While it may not seem like a big deal, procrastination can and does affect your work. And believe me, professors can tell. Don't you have something due today? I can do it later. On one hand, I've never met a great journalist that wasn't a great procrastinator because there's something about having to perform under deadline that brings out the best. But on the other hand, for a video project, Murphy's Law is going to get the best of you. So if you bring in junk audio or you forgot to white balance and you've got two hours left to turn it in, good luck because you, my friend, are screwed. We start by trying to figure out what motivates a student. We try to help them to figure out what motivates them, whether it's something internal, something external, whether it's moving toward a goal or moving away from a, a catastrophe, bad grades, things like that. Finals may be stressful, but in the end, nothing's more stressful than putting off till tomorrow what you can screw up today. For Pete's Corner, I'm Zach Furman.